Okay, here's example five in a differential equations topic. We're having a look at how to solve first order differential equations as example five. We've had a look at example two, three, and four. Um, so if you haven't checked them out, uh, do so, because this is a wee bit more developed. So we're, we're trying to use the separating variables technique. We're going to bring the dx or multiply both sides by dx to have a function in y dy equals function x dx. Um, the x term here is on the left, that should be on the right, and we've got a, a y term here. So what we need to do is to try and rearrange that. So if they divide through by y, we end up with 1 over y, dy by dx. And we're going to, that becomes, this becomes divide through by 1 plus x. It becomes uh, divided by 1 plus x, and we've still got the x term in the top. So if I bring the 1 plus x over to the other side, it will divide or divide through by y. I get this expression. If we multiply both sides by uh, dx, we get 1 over y dy equals x over 1 plus x dx. So that's a separated the variables function of y dy equals function x dx, and we can then, then integrate both sides. Like that, and then we've got two integral calculations to think of. So, on the left-hand side, 1 over y, the in integral of 1 over y becomes then the log of y. And on the right-hand side, we've got this rational function. We've got um, x over 1 plus x. We have to decide what we're going to do with that. Uh, it's not one of the uh, the, the standard integration problems where you've got 1 plus x squared in the denominator, it becomes inverse tan or uh, the log of 1 plus x squared. It's a wee bit simpler than that, so what we can do is just a, a first order uh, rational function top and bottom. So if we do some long division, we could uh, separate that into a quotient and remainder. So we're dividing x uh, by 1 plus x or x plus 1. So you can see that x divided by x is 1, and we've got x plus 1 we multiply through, which we then subtract. X subtract, x is 0. And 0 subtract, okay. 1 is negative 1. So we end up with uh, the idea that the function becomes 1 minus 1 over x plus 1. Okay, I'm assuming that you can know about algebraic long division. Uh, so we'll end up, we can actually integrate 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 dx. And that's a wee bit easier to integrate. So we've got log y equals the integral of 1 with respect to x becomes x, and our 1 over x plus 1 because becomes the natural log of x plus 1, divided by the derivative of x plus 1, which is 1, so there's no change there, plus c, a constant of integration. Uh, we'll, we need then to get rid of the log y. We've got y, log y equals, uh, so we end up taking the exponent of both sides, so e to the log y is equal to e to the power uh, e to the x minus the log of x plus 1 plus c, all that as a power. So we need to get, simplify that, the e and the natural log are the inverse functions, that becomes y equals. We've got here a sum of three different uh, terms, we've got x, we've got minus log x plus 1 and plus c. And we know that we can split these up using our rules of indices by making them into products of each other. So we've got e to the x multiplied by e to the negative log x plus 1 multiplied by e to the power c. And we can then do a wee bit of simplifying, e to the x stays this way. We've got a negative log of x plus 1. Uh, so if we think about the idea that uh, negative log, I'll just write this out and go log of x plus 1 to the power negative 1 um, times e to the c, we can see that then that just becomes y equals e to the x multiplied by x plus 1 to the power negative 1. And then we've got this times e to the c. Now we, what we do is we change that to uh, a capital letter A, and we just say A is equal to e to the power C at that point. So it's a constant term, but this time it's not an 
an adding constant, it's a multiplier. And so we can finish that off by saying that y is equal to this multiplier a times e to the x over x plus 1. Okay, now we don't need a plus c because the constant has changed from a plus c, as I've just said, to a multiplied by a, and that becomes our constant term. And that is the solution to the differential equation. Okay, and hopefully that makes uh, some sense. You can go and have a practice of a few more like that. Okay.